So yesterday while we were watching my fish, I showed you guys briefly this, but didn't really say anything about it. And what that is, if you can't tell, is both of those long-finned ancestors in the cave. Well, today or this morning when I went downstairs, I saw this, which is just the single ancestress. And I can tell it's the male by the little bristly things at the end of his pectoral fins. And that made me really, really suspicious. So I grabbed my tripod, wedged it against the wall, held it in my armpit, and took my cell phone camera to do a total invasion of this fish's privacy. You see, Ancestress, the male will trap the female in the cave, and then she'll deposit her eggs on in the back of the cave, where he'll then fertilize them and guard them. And you can see him here fanning them gently to prevent any fungus. Um, and then he will guard them until they are ready to hatch. Now, I do apologize for the angle and the quality of this video, but again, I had to literally hold my camera in my elbow, try and focus, and also use a flashlight at the same time to be able to see into the cave. Now, you'll see that it's really important to offer the appropriate um, spawning sites for these guys because these pinched end caves allow the male to first of all trap the female and then second of all protect these eggs while they are growing and developing until they're ready to hatch. You can sort of see here that the eggs are definitely fertilized. You can see the little nucleus in them. Um, and he will go in and out of the cave, usually staying pretty close to that end there, constantly moving his fins to fan those eggs again until they're ready to hatch. I just think this parenting behavior is one of the really, really unique and cool things about working with Ancestress Plecos and is why I have so many around the fish room. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the updates on these guys and seeing the ickle babies when they're ready.